Good evening, class. Thank you for being here on time. Enjoy your dinner. Yeah. If you're having dinner, enjoy it for me. Okay. Thank you for answering, Atilio. Good evening, Claudia Maria. Pablo good evening. Alberto, thank you for your answer. Pablo Adalberto, good evening. Darío Antonio, good evening. The same as Atilio. And Tony is joining right now. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Is it raining in your neighborhoods or no, it is not? No, it isn't. Okay, I've heard that in some places it is raining. Really? No, yeah. No, it isn't. In Mexicanos? No. Okay. Not in Santa Tecla. Okay, at about five, uh, from five to six, it was raining here in my home. Mm -hmm. But in some places right now, I've heard that it is raining, cats and dogs. Let's expect that the connectivity is going to be okay, right? <clears throat> and congrats for the ones who finished. Almost all of you were done yesterday at midnight in section one, in the platform, in the learning platform. Now you have that you need to continue with section two. And remember that you have a midterm test, yes? Norma is joining. We still have one minute left. She was, oh no, she's here. Good evening, Norma, Patricia, welcome. And thank you for joining. Good evening. Good evening, Norma. Mirna Lisset, good evening. It is exactly the time to get a started class. So here we go, okay? I would like you to tell me what you remember about yesterday's class. What do you remember you practiced yesterday in class, students? Mm -hmm. What did we practice yesterday? Hello. The um, use of should and shouldn't. Should and shouldn't, yeah. So you can give uh, suggestions, right? Yeah, very well. Okay, and besides that, what else? Because you were building some sentences, did you practice any conversation yesterday? Okay. And did you work with inventory? Do you remember the last activity that you were presenting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because yesterday it was a general practice of what you were practicing in section one in unit one. Yeah. It was a very practice activity. The last one, because you have to classify the information for different products, yes? And now, here we go. Nelson, welcome. Carla Sofia is joining. So here we go, class. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you, okay? So in here, what do we have? 
Okay. Here we go. Thank you for letting me. Gracias por permitirme compartir, chicos. Okay. So today is November 9th, 2022. And here we go. So today is our video conference number six. And we have as the first activity, as every day, greetings, feedback on what we practiced the day before. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives. And today, our pre-task, the preparation task, and the task is to tell companies locations using their is and their are. So you're going to be describing where your companies are. Your, the companies that you work for are, and I expect that we're going to be working at pages 19 and 20, and there is somebody who is, um, okay, trying to participate here. I see a red point. You're going to have the chance to participate later on. And again, a reminder for homeworks and evaluations. Remember that you need to get started with the homeworks in section two, okay? And there in here, you know the requirements, your full name, um, camera on, microphones off. So I'm going to ask you to turn your microphones off. And active participation as every day you have it in the breakout rooms. The attendance, it is expected that you uh, stay in class 100%, which is 120 minutes. The attendance is taken twice. And you need to say here I am or present and activate your cameras. And at the end, one of you stays with me in order to have a one-on-one -on -one session for reinforcement to clarify any doubts about any topic or just to have a reading practice, okay? Again, in Zoom, as I told you, the mute button, unless you are told not to do so, camera on, the chats are available via WhatsApp and via Zoom. In the breakout rooms, you will have the ask for help button in case that you need extra help. And as usual, respect, okay? Above all, respect for everyone, for everybody in class. And here we are, section two, okay? And the midterm test. This is what I was telling you at the beginning. So you continue working in the platform. And now it is the turn for you. Who wants to participate helping me reading the objectives? Participants will develop competence that will allow them to mass mark steps in a process and ask an answer question to check that main, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Manenans. Maninan pro, 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 procedures, procedures procedure are met in face to face and telephone conversation with the other in worse situation. Thank you so much. Excellent. Now, who is going to help us reading the specific objective for today? Sorry, la lengua se me trajo. Okay. Go ahead and help us reading the. A specific objective, please. Something else or, or me? Oh, you can continue if you want to. No problem. Participant will be able to tell companies location using their is and there are. Excellent. Um, at the end of the class, participants will be able to use there is and there are both positive and negative forms. Excellent. Thank you so much. I appreciate a lot your participation. So here we have, as your partner, read in the general objective that all of you as participants will develop competencies that will allow you to mark steps in a, in a, progress, in a progress and ask 
and answer, answer, let's remember when we pronounce answer, the W is not pronounced, forget about the W, answer, answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversations with others in work situations. The highlight for today is that you are going to be able to tell your company's locations using there is and there are. And you will be able at the end to use there is and there are either in affirmative or uh, negative. Both, okay, both of them. And here we have the feedback. This says the conversation you were practicing yesterday, correct? And now I need two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. This is what we practiced yesterday. Okay, two volunteers, or do you want me to choose the volunteers? Me, teacher. Thank you. You are going to start. And Nelson. Nelson, okay, Nelly and Nelson. Uh, okay, Nelly reads John and Nelson reads Ben. Let's begin, please. Nelly or Norma? Nelly. Excuse me. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. Wedding, I think we need to stop our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now is three for this year, this year, and the cost is thirty dollar per unit. Thanks, great. Thank you so much. Now two more participants to practice this conversation as part of the feedback. Two volunteers. Me. Thank you so much. Dario, you're going to read John and who is going to read uh, Ben? Okay, Pablo, thank you. Darío, you begin. Okay. We were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes. We don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory? The number of chocolate caramel. What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year, and the cost is thirteen per unit. That's great. Thank you so much. Very well. So here there are some words to remind. We have a lot of customers. Customers. I think we need to stock our inventory, inventory. We don't have enough, enough. This G and H sound like F, enough quantity of chocolate, chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now it's three for this year and the cost is $30 per unit, per unit. That's great, okay? And you were working in one more activity yesterday. This one, okay? So you were matching the definitions with the words below. Cost, inventory, turnover, stock, quantity, and inventory, yeah? Do you remember this class? Yeah, you were working perfectly on this. And in the end, all of you did a great job. So congrats, because this is part of the feedback. So right now, 
we have the introduction to the topic. We use there is and there are, okay, to say that something exists. Positive sentences. We use there is for singular and there are for plural, okay? Is this information clear or is there something that you don't understand in this theory? We use there is and there are, okay? There are to say that something exists. Positive sentences, we use is for singular and there are for plural in, uh, in positive sentences. But now let me see somebody wrote something here. Okay, Nell. So class, here we go. I'll tell you about this. Okay. There is and there are. The meaning is the same, but the use is different because we use there is for singular and there are for plural, yes? And we say, for example, there is a tomato on the table. This is singular. Now, how do we change this sentence into plural? Does anybody know? There are two tomatoes on the potato, on the table. There are, it can be two, some, many, three, five, six, okay? Because it is plural. There are two tomatoes on the table. Yes, very well. And now let's change these sentences into negative. Let's begin with there is a tomato on the table. How do we change this sentence into negative? There, there are, are not or aren't two tomatoes on the table. Okay, mm -hmm. that is in plural. There aren't two tomatoes, tomatoes on the table on the table. This is for plural. But what about for singular? Let's change there is a tomato on the table into negative. There isn't there a tomato on the table. Isn't a tomato on the table. Yes. And this is what we're going to be working right now with. Yeah. I'm going to stop sharing because it is the time for you to start practicing. You have to show something, okay? Because I say, there is a yellow ruler in my hand. There is a yellow ruler in my hand. Now you tell me an example. There is or there are. You use what you have near you, okay? There is a pencil in my hand. Excellent, very well. Yes, Norma? There, is, there is my my book in the table. No, in your hands. Because on the table is on the table, yeah? The table, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is a book in my hands. Very well done. In my hand. Okay. Excellent. Somebody else? There is my phone in in my house in yes. my in my hand because you have it in your hand yeah yes okay excellent very well great one more participant there is a supermarket near to my house very well we don't see it but she is saying that there is a supermarket near her house okay great now negative sentences okay Use there your imagination. It can be a singular or plural. Mm. There is. 
There isn't. Yes, there is. There isn't. My car. Uh huh. In my house. There isn't my car in my house. Okay, maybe it is in the garage. Thank you. Very well done. Uh, somebody else, Norma. Um, there, there isn't money in my house. There isn't money in my house. Ah, oh, there isn't <laughs> money in my house. Okay, there isn't money in my house. Very well. One more, but plural, uh, plural. Teacher, yes. Uh, there aren't uh, clips in your hair. There aren't hair clips in your hair. Very well. Excellent. Great. And here we go. Okay. So right now, I'm going to share my PPT with you. I'm going to continue sharing my PPT with you, class. Okay. Here we have a set of uh, sentences. <clears throat> and we have a bag on the table, a calendar on the wall, two posters in my room, an apple in the basket. If you notice, there is an empty space over here before the phrase. So you are going to complete these sentences using there is or there are. Later, you're going to change these sentences into negative and interrogative. Let's go over the first one. Okay, if we say there uh, a bag on the table, is it there is or there are? What do you think, class? There is. Okay. So I'm going to erase this and this. And here we go. There is, we say, there is a, do you remember? There is a bag. On the table. On the table. Very well. And if we change this sentence into negative, how do we change it? There, there isn't. There isn't a bag, a bag on the table. On the table, very good. And now if we change this sentence into question, interrogative is, sentence. Is there a bag on the table? Is there a bag on the table? Very well, and question mark at the end. This is the correct order for singular, right? We switch the order of the two words. First, we write is or are there and the complement. And at the end, we never uh, forget the question mark. But if we say in plural, there are mm, three dogs in the park, for example, in the park. Now let's change this sentence into negative. There aren't three dogs in the park. There aren't three dogs in the park, yeah? Now let's change this sentence into interrogative sentence. The affirmative. Are, are there are there three dogs in the park? Three dogs in the park. Mark, okay, and question mark at the end. Is that okay? So this is the kind of exercise that you're going to be working with, with the sentences that I'm going to share with you right now, okay? Do you have any questions about what we're going to be working with? No. No? Okay, but before we go over, we're going to, okay, I'm going to take the attendance because it is the time. So get ready, class. Here we go. Atilio. Present teacher. Thank you. Brandon. Ah, he has permission. He has an emergency. But he is <clears throat> absent. Later on, he's going to join. And then we have here Claudia Maria. Over here. Present. Thank you, Miss. Concepción. Concepción Marina. 
absent at the moment. Está de oyente, ahí dicen su nombre. Oyente ah, Concepción. Yeah, but for the attendance, she has to, to answer. So it is recorded that she is here and she's not frozen. Darío Antonio. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Carranza. Yes, okay, thank you. Sí, ya, yo suena? me encuentro un tanto afónica. A lot of, I would say, very, very, you know, very sick of your throat. Okay, we understand. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Thank Josué Neftali. Present teacher. Ah, you're here and you are at the work program. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett is absent. Present teacher, todavía no llego. Ah, okay, but Voy you are in class. Ya, yeah. yeah, but yeah. you are in class. Gracias. Okay. Marina Yancy. Present. Thank you. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Miss Nelly Philibet. Present. Thank you, Miss Nelly. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto. Present. Here. Sandra. Present teacher. Wendy. Miss Wendy. Absent. Carla Sofía. Present. Celia Cristina, Miss Cristi. Present here. Okay, thank you so much. And now I'm going to share with you the slide so you can work. Okay. That over here. This is the one. Okay. Okay, so right now, class, you have the slide in the WhatsApp group, okay? So we can work on them. As I was telling you, you are going to write over here the negative sentences, the negative version of these 10 sentences, and here the interrogative version for these uh, 10 sentences, okay? And now I'm going to ask you to join your groups and then you work these sentences in the breakout room, okay? Here we go. Hmm. Hold it. Okay, later. Mm. Mm. Okay. Right now I'm sending you the invitation, okay? Uh, Miss Stephanie Carranza, you have a sore throat, sore throat, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, join your groups. Try not to talk too much, Miss Stephanie. 
Join your groups, I sent you the invitation. Try to practice as much as possible, okay? Practice makes perfect. No me aparece la invitación que voy desde el teléfono. Tiene que mover ahí la, la, la ventana. Sí, chef. La voy a enviar nuevamente. Preste atención, Marina Chancy, ¿ok? Sí, es que, es que ya intenté, pero lo que me pasa es que me saca. Pero el voy internet, a El internet, porque el internet es inestable. Como va en ruta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Por eso, vaya, se la voy a enviar nuevamente. Permítame okay. dónde era que estaba. Okay. En el 2. Ok, sí, ajá, precisamente. Se la acabo de enviar nuevamente, Miss Trate. Ok. Ok. Teacher. Yes. No, me puede colocar en otro grupo. Es que oh. nadie habla en el grupo que está. Ah, sí. mm. en serio. Mm -hmm. Eso estoy viendo que hay varias gente que está... Luis, veamos. Marina, Yancy, Pablo, Adalberto y Sandra. Está bien serio. Ok, Luis. I'm going to send you to group uh, number one. Okay. okay Open your you. eyes. Ok. Great. Hello, <laughs> Luis. Ah, okay. So I've been on my phone. Sorry, ah. I can't share. Okay. Ah, pues, ahí, I la dejo yo. Ah, sí. Yes. Pero, yes. Oh, okay. Sería la seco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, no, no puedo compartir desde aquí ahorita por el momento. Estamos intentando compartir ahorita. Hi, teacher. No, miss. Are your partners interacting with you? No, I think they are as oyentes. Okay, they so I'm going to join you to another group. Is that okay? Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Claudia, go to group number two, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Let me go to group number two.
rara, porque como si aquí no la ha he hecho. Ok. Uh -huh. Sería por la, la siete sería, there isn't a mirror yeah. in, in, in our house. Ajá. Hall, es, perdón, hall. Ajá. Eh, ¿Qué es cushion, teacher? Where is cushion? Cojines. Cojín, oh, ok. Oh, chica, 10. Uh -huh. Ok, y, y wardrobe. ¿Cuál? El wardrobe. 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 ¿Qué es? Teacher. What did you say, Christy? Gradle, ¿qué es? Ah, no, I thought that you were saying the answer. Ropero. Ah, ropero, ok. Uh -huh. Because closet, it's closet, but wardrobe is uh -huh. wardrobe. There isn't a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. Uh -huh. Y they aren't children in the park. No. Vaya, la número uno. Esa ya, ya la puso la, la, la teacher. La uno. Sí, there is a bat on the table. Negative. There is a... Ah, se estaba metiendo aquí. Qué bárbaro. Is there a bar on the table? Nice. Mm -hmm. Sí. A los siete me voy a ir. La dos. There is a calendar on the wall. Porque no busca otra camisa para ponerse. Negative. There isn't. There isn't. There isn't. Is there? Is is there? There. What is the next? there are two poster in my room? There are two posters yeah. in my there room. Are two posters. La negativa de Aaron. Are there? There is an apple in the in this basket. There is an apple in this There are there, yeah, there are three chairs in the kitchen. Three chairs. Aquí tiene C. Sí. Así es. Two chairs. There is a there is a three child in the 
Cheers. 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 La otra sería Are there three? Este que estoy escribiendo. Oh, Are there? La otra es Los Magazines on the Chair. There are Los Ojos Magazines on the Chair. On the chair. There are, there are lots of magazines on the chair. Ese es también en plural, ¿verdad? There are, ¿verdad? There are. There are. There are there are there lots of my science shelf Nos falta. Cuatro. Una más. Vale, la otra sería there is. Porque es un espejo, dice, ¿verdad? A mirror. Sí. Okay. There is. Uy. There is mirror. Mm -hmm. There is a mirror in our house. Our house. Is there? La otra sería 10 Ten cushion on the sofa Cushion on the sofa ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Cushion Cojines Cojines No es pillow Pillow almohada Pillow almohada Cushions, Se pronuncia así cushions. Cushions, cushions. Cushions. Cojines. There are. There are. The... Teacher. La única yes, pregunta que tenemos sobre esta es si. Eh, Ay, chipa, se me perdió cuál es. Si sí, después de haber hecho los positivos, teníamos que hacerlo negativo. Nosotros los pusimos aquí o teníamos que hacerlos en este espacio. No, en este espacio, pues, porque se suponía que tenían que escribir la oración completa, ¿verdad? Para que practicaran. Y aquí las interrogativas, pero si lo han escrito ahí, pues está bien. A la hora de compartirlo, no se vayan a confundir. Es que aquí lo que hemos hecho es... Eh, este es como la, o sea, hemos hecho primero la oración tal cual. Sí. Eh, indique, una, una oración indicativa. Ahí hay una bolsa en la, en la mesa. Después las hicimos negativas, pero las interrogativas, como no hayamos dónde ponerlos, no sé si vamos a ponerlos aquí, pero. Ah, sí, ahí. ahí. 
porque si tiene la, la, ok, acá se supone que la tiene que escribir. En este pedacito de Sí, en ese espacio, sí. En serio. Bueno. Porque lo tienen en Word, ¿verdad? Sí, Las no, imágenes no. las copiaron en Word, en un documento de Word. Yo lo tengo aquí en el documento Ajá. de Word, exacto. Si Ajá. no, escribanlas acá abajo, porque lo que están haciendo en otros equipos es que ellos han creado una tabla dinámica, ¿verdad? Para que vayan las tres. Sí, este era un, un ejemplo. Pero si quieren escribirlas acá, no hay ningún problema, porque acá está el, el negativo, ¿sí? Okay. Está bien, y acá están ya solo las, las interrogativas, solo las interrogativas escriben, ¿sí? Porque como ya tienen las, a, ajá, las afirmativas y las negativas, you only need to write the interrogative sentences. Mm -hmm. to, speed up, to speed up your, 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 your work para agilizar su trabajo. Mm -hmm. Vaya, pues. Only the interrogatives, yeah. The thing is that uh, when you share the person who reads the negatives, don't get confused when reading. Yeah, that is the only thing. There isn't blah, 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 and the complement, and there is no problem to me. Okay? Okay, yeah, pues así lo vamos a hacer. Yeah, leave it like that, yeah. You, okay. Okay, sir. Bye. Oh, sí. Here, hello, is there a big, aha, uh -huh, the space? And over here, there is a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. There are three, there are children in the park. There aren't children in the park. Are there children in the park? Yeah. There are two posters in my, uh, are there two posters in your room? Excellent. Because you need to say, uh, are there two posters in your room? Are there two posters? Ah, you wrote it too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was about to tell you, that some of the partners are going to write, are there two posters in my room? Yeah, because literal to change it. But here you did it with a different purpose. Because if you ask, are there two posters in your room? You answer, there are two posters in my room. Yeah, so both are acceptable. That's great on your side. Very well, congratulations. Okay, give me yeah. two minutes and decide who's going to present it in the main session room, okay? Okay. okay. Very well done. Excellent idea. Okay, uh, you finish class. Hello, teacher. Show the sentences so we can return and share. Yes? Yes, yes we finish. Okay, great. Excellent. Congratulations. Okay. So give me one more minute so I monitor the other groups and then we return. Okay. Well okay. done. Thank you. Is, is there a bar? Is there a bar in the Bible? Uh -huh. Es como para poderle poniendo ya las. Uh, listen, the only thing is that the preposition in that sentence should be on. Because it is on the surface, not in the table. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. And I, I write that. Okay. There is. Is a calendar. Pero necesito hacerle esto un poquito más grande.
Yo creo que lo dejas así porque otras se van a hacer más grandes al otro lado también. Para jugar con más. Un poquito. Is there a calendar? Es que igual siempre me la va a ir haciendo más grandes, tiene ah, todas las son por más que quiera. Uh -huh. Esa tarea. Hacela. We already finished, teacher. Okay, I'm going to check it out. But was Nelly in this group? No, mm. it was with me in number five, but you sent me here. Okay, I'll hold it because I sent her here and she's having problems with the connectivity probably because she's not here. Okay, she's joining right now. Nelly, your group, you were in group with um, Celia or with Atilio and Carla? Do you remember? No, you don't. Creo que estaba con Carla. Eh, Carla está aquí. Pero, ah, pero como usted no está activa, ¿verdad? Por eso fue que la, la, la moví, porque no, sí. no estaba activa. Ok, so let's see. Let's stay here. Mm, let's verify. Could you magnify it, please, a little bit? There is a... Uh, back on the table. There isn't a back on the table. Is there a back on the table? Excellent, great. There is a calendar on the wall. There isn't a calendar on the wall. Is there a calendar on the wall? Mm -hmm. Very well. There is an apple in the basket. There are three rooms in there. Are there? There are lots of magazines on the shelf. Are there lots of magazines? There is a mirror in our hall. There isn't a mirror in our hall. Is there a mirror in our hall? Excellent. There is a big wardrobe. There isn't. Is there a big wardrobe? There are children in the park. There aren't children in the park. Are there children? In the last one, the question mark. Are there children? Oh, yes. the oh yes. le faltó ahí, es cierto. Yeah, that is the only thing, okay? Yes, okay, and in the others, in the affirmative and negative, okay. did you write the, the full stop? Le agregaron el punto final. Yes. A cada una de las oraciones en afirmativo y negativo. Not all. Uh-huh. <laughs> Remember that in the test, if you don't have the, the full stop when you finish a sentence, it discounts valuable points, okay? Okay. So I think they are okay. Excellent. Great. Teacher, una pregunta. Estamos yes, comentando de que en la tarea seis, I, I, a mí me salió pues que no, no la puedo la, pasar y es de esto mismo. En la de ahora. Ajá. Ah, ¿sabe qué? Compártanmelas, por favor, y yo las voy a compartir para que, para que las corrijan. ¿Cuál es el error? Este, para pues, ver si las corrigen. No, no, o sea, no, no sé, no vemos cuál es la... Eh, sale, eh, there are two distribution centers. Uh -huh. Is the correct, but it doesn't. 
Eh, it doesn't accept it. Uh -huh. no, la, no la toma. Y uh -huh. ninguna otra opción la toma como, como correcta. No han probado. Con punto, sin punto, quitándole uh -huh. el plural. No. no, me refiero a las otras alternativas porque puede ser que el error sea que en la, en la respuesta que ellos han consignado haya un error y a, no le hayan dado el porcentaje bueno a la correcta, sino a una que es incorrecta. A veces no suele pasar. ¿Sí? Yo ya no vi de todo ahí y no... No doy cuál es el error. Vaya, entonces me la comparten y en fotografía, ¿verdad? Vía, vía WhatsApp, si quieren en chat directo y yo lo comparto en, con los administradores para okay. que vean cuál es la... Ah, porque acá, miren, ya Mr. Corbera compartió, creo. Sí, Pero, el... Ajá, ese es mismo ítem es. Ese es, mismo sí, ítem es. Ese es, sí. Ok, vaya, entonces yo la voy a compartir para ver si nos pueden ayudar. Ok. Ok. okay. Gracias. Ok, so right now, let's see, there is one group that is still working. Okay. Okay. Very soon we're going to be uh, check for the representative of this team. Okay. Are you done? Hi, class. Are you done? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's get back. And let me tell you that there is one in which there are two possibilities, but we're going to discuss that in the main session room. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're yeah. welcome. Hey, aquí estamos, Josué. Let's wait for the rest of the class to return. Okay, so in the first group, we have Celia, Cristina, Stephanie Carranza, Luis Miguel, Marianne, and Mirna. Okay, would you like to present? Because we're going to have only one, only one group presenting. And then if you have a different version in any other activity, you just say and we discuss, okay? Or I said group number one, but if there is another group that would like to share the sentences with the class, you are really welcome, okay? Okay. Okay. Volunteers, which group? One, two, three, or four? Okay, I read the participants in group one. In group two, room two, I have Claudia Maria, Marina Jansi, Nelly Lipet, Pablo, Sandra, and in room three, Atilio, Carla, and Norma. Group four, Darío, Sue, Nelson, and Tony. Elias. Come on, class, all of you are done. Thank you. Choose one. Ah, okay. Picking somebody. Else. 
Okay, here class, uh, thank you for sharing. Who's going to present? Quien lo va a presentar? Tony, of course. Okay. Excuse me, and my microphone is, is, is off. Is off. Um, three, all the group are going to present you. Um, the first three is for Nelson, the second group of three is Daria, and the, uh, the last ones between Josue and, and, and I. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Affirmative form. There is a bar in the table. On the table, excuse me. On the uh, table. On the table. Okay. There is a bar on the table. There is a calendar on the wall. There are two posters in my room. There is an apple in this basket. There are three chairs in the kitchen. Hasta ahí, a oírle a las negativas. Okay. Ah, yo pensé que íbamos a leer todas las afirmativas. No, eran tres, las tres formas suyas. Pero okay. Okay, about, perfecto. There is a bar on the table, affirmative form, negative form. There isn't bar on the table, interrogative form. Is there a bar on the table? Yeah. Affirmative form, there is a calendar on the wall. Negative form, there isn't a calendar on the wall. Interrogative form, is there a calendar on the wall? Affirmative form, there are two posters in my room. Negative form, there aren't two posters in my room. Interrogative form, are there two posters in the room? In my room, pardon? Yes. Okay. There is an apple in this basket. There isn't an apple in this basket. Is there an apple in this basket? There are three chairs in the kitchen. There aren't three chairs in the kitchen. Are there three chairs in the kitchen? There are lots of magazines on the shelf. There aren't lots of magazines on the shelf. Are there lots of magazines on the shelf? Si quiere, dele, eh, estimado Josué, que nos acompañó. Josué. Ah, está de oyente. Voy yo. There is a mirror on. Josué puede. There is a mirror on the hall. Negative. There isn't a mirror on the hall. And interrogative. Is there a mirror on the hall? There are 10 cushions on the sofa. Negative. There aren't 10 cushions on the sofa. And interrogative. Are there 10 cushions on the sofa? There is a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. Negative is. There isn't a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom. An interrogative, is there a big wardrobe in my sister's bedroom? And the last one, there are children in the park. Negative, there aren't children in the park. In, and finally, the interrogative, are there children in the park? Thank you so much. Now, class. For all the students, do you have uh, something different from this uh, set of sentences? Something to add? Alguien no. tiene algo diferente? Mm, are you sure? Okay, in one group, okay? Mm, we add uh -huh. a question in the in the question there are two posters in my room. In number three, uh-huh. Le colocamos, are there two posters in your room? Uh -huh. Proyecte Carlita. 
Okay, great. Yeah, that's it. She's saying that, she's saying that, okay. Show your sentences, sir. Okay, this is okay. It is perfect. Are there two posters in my room? That's okay. But they added another one. They have this one, but they have an extra one. Are there two posters in your room? As a direct question. Because if you ask, are there two posters in your room? Yes, there are posters in my room. From that perspective, I told them that both are acceptable. Yes, it was their creativity. And because if you say, are there two posters in my room? You're going to answer, yes, there are two posters in my room. Yes. So in that sense that they saw this sentence, the affirmative as an answer, they wrote, they added here, are there two posters in your room? And that's also acceptable. So the Maybe two ones. They mm -hmm. are a roommates. Yes. And here, yeah. And over here, the one uh, in our hall, there is a mirror in our, in our hall. Because if you say on the hall, recuerden la preposición on, es sobre una superficie, sobre o encima del hall, estarían diciendo, ¿sí? So there is a mirror in our hall, dentro de nuestro hall. De la yeah. sala, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces verifiquen ahí todos y todas que las preposiciones estén de acuerdo. Sure. Yeah, because sometimes we, uh, involuntarily, we type a different letter or a different word, and that's acceptable because we are human beings. But for your grammar, okay? testing in the in the platform uh, check out that in class uh, I, I've been checking here the WhatsApp that you have a problem with the homework for today yeah so I'm going to share this with the administration maybe they can help us because I cannot because they administer the platform okay Ellos administran la plataforma, entonces le puede hacer saber, tal vez no lo pueden compartir. So, for the rest, do you have any other suggestion? No, we have the same, the same thing. Okay, thank you so much. Congratulations to the students in general and especially to the ones who presented, okay? Thank you, very well done, congrats. And now we move to the next activity. Thanks for sharing. This is the way that we learn. And now here, class, let's continue. And look at this, because you have a lot to do right now, believe me. And here, we have at page 20, okay? How to use there is and there are. Use there is and there are to state that something exists. We use there is for singular nouns and there are for plural nouns, no problem. Add not after to be create to create the negative form. There is one office in San Salvador. There is not a store in the city. It should be over here in because there is not a store the city, no. There is not a store in the city, right? There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. And this is the sentence that you are having trouble with, right, in the platform. Yes. Y con esto es con lo que tienen problema, perfecto. There are not many places to have a meeting. So we have singular, affirmative, and you have the plural, okay? Affirmative and negative for both cases. Now class, let's do the following. Let's read the sentences and find the mistake and let's correct it. Now that you have a lot of knowledge about the topic affirmative and negative, let's see. In number one, let's analyze it. Let's try to do together the first one and you tell me. There is two branches in El Salvador. If you notice here in this sentence, I identified a mistake and I told you, no, we don't say there is not a store in the city. We say there is not a store in the city. 
So in sentence number one, exercise five, there is two branches in El Salvador. What should be the correct sentence? There are two branches in El Salvador. Okay. There are two branches in El Salvador. Yes? Mm -hmm. In El Salvador. Period. So immediately we identify that the mistake is with the verb to be. And you re rewrite the sentence with no mistake. Okay? Let's do it, please. And later we're going to share. Let's work individually because it's very important to identify the mistakes.
class as soon as you finish, please tell me, okay? So we can double check together. Okay, thank you. Now class, in number two, where is the mistake that you identified? There is one is fact double. Okay, there is one. According to you, Miss, what should it be? The correct sentence. Mm -hmm. The sentence should be. Okay, let's say the correct sentence should be. There is. There is. Ah, okay, let's see. Let's see. I want you to pay attention to this. Okay. There is. There is one. There is one. Hello. Right. Listen, listen, listen to the teacher. If you say there is one, you need to, to change the other word because this is plural. So you say there is one facility. 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 Available. So you don't have here one mistake, you have two because it should be there is in facility, right? Mm -hmm. But, okay, now listen. If you write, there are some facilities available. Yes, then you say, hay algunas instalaciones disponibles. If you check that the mistake is only in the word one, yes? Because you say there is one facility available. In order to have the perfect matching with one and facility, you need to change facilities, that is in plural, into mm -hmm. singular and the other uh, version is there are some facilities available and then you only instead of one you write some hay algunas instalaciones disponibles okay so depending okay very good now in number three where is the mistake where is the mistake there are. Okay, so we say that is A. Mm -hmm. Because remember that we use A for singular. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, so if you say that is a mistake, we should write there. There are. There are um, new office. There are new new office. offices. Or there is a new office. Excellent. That's okay. That is the other perspective. Very well. There, there is a new office. Mm -hmm. Depending on the perspective. So you have in there two possibilities. Yeah. There are new offices. You eliminate this and A and you write only R. But on the other side, because you have A, you say there is a new office and you don't write the plural offices, but you write office. Is that correct? Now let's go over number four. There are not, there, there not are materials to work. So we say there are no okay. there are there materials to work. Are no. not no. materials to work. Yeah. to work. That was oh. kind of easy, yeah. There are not materials mm -hmm. to work, or there aren't materials to work. And the last one, 
Mm -hmm. There is not is not sería mis, mistake. Uh -huh. Okay. So the correct should be there are no there are two not. boxes in the log. There are not three three boxes in the lobby. In the lobby. And that's it. Yes. There are not we over here. Uh -huh. Yeah, are. There are not three boxes in the lobby. And that's it. Now you are able to identify mistakes using there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't. Now, class, I'm going to get back to the previous page because in here we have the situation. What places are there in your workplace? How many meeting rooms do exist in your company? How many meeting rooms do exist in your company? You have to say what places are there in your workplace. For example, in my, in my company, there is a cafeteria, there is a coffee station, there is a, a meeting room, there is a, a kitchen, a kitchen, a front desk, you describe, okay? There is a big uh, parking lot or a small parking lot or there's no parking lot, yeah? And what else? There is a beautiful garden. There are, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or there is a, what? Restroom. Nice, clean restrooms, yeah. And then how many meeting rooms do exist in your company? ¿Cuántos salones de reuniones hay en su compañía? Only one. In, but in some companies, they have more than five or six or 10, depending on the nature of the company, right? So class, you are going to answer these questions that we have in here, okay? You are going to be transferred to the, no, okay, to the breakout rooms and you are going to answer these two questions. As soon as you finish answering these two questions, you are going to practice this conversation that I'm going to read right now for you. Okay, and then you're going to practice this. So you are going to go over exercise one and exercise two. And here, my name is Tom, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO or ECO. The painting company, there are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana or Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, so you go over this one, you practice this, you switch roles, and you go over exercise number three. You are going to fill in the blanks to complete the following sentences, similar to the previous exercise, okay? Using there is or there are. Are the instructions clear? Están claras las instrucciones. Primero, eh, exercise number one, porque a veces se van primero a, a la conversación, luego se van al ejercicio tres y al final, hasta que yo llego, hace el ejercicio number one. So let's give the correct follow up order, okay? Number one, number two, and number three. So let's go. Please practice as much as possible because practice makes perfect. And here we go to the breakout rooms, okay? I'm going to stop presenting. Join your groups if you are so nice.
Okay, join your groups, please. I send you the invitation, Nelly and Wendy. Join your groups, Marianne, Scarlett, Tony, Mirna Lisette. Please go to your group, Mirna Lisette. Perdón que se me ha trabado esto, perdón. Ah, ok. Ah, permítame. permítame. Ahí va. Ok. Mirna, we need you in your group. And Josue, go to group number four. Thank you. In, in my workplace, are, no, ¿cómo sería? In my there are, or in there my, is. In my workplace, there are two meeting rooms. Oh, nice. uh, one, the, there is one cafeteria. Um, there are many sales rooms. No. What places are there in your workplace? There is a dining room. Los lugares de trabajo, teacher, son compartidos, que tenemos que compartir lo que existe en, en nuestros lugares de trabajo. Y... Yes, that's, that's correct. Ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Ron, te miren. There is a, there are two rooms. Room meetings, two meeting rooms. Meeting rooms. Alguien más? There are there is a three. There are three bedrooms in second okay. level. Bedrooms. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathrooms, <laughs> maybe. Bathrooms. Oh, That's my bedrooms. Okay. <laughs> ya quisiéramos. <laughs> the organ. ¿Cómo se diría órgano de dirección? No, no sabe. How, how, how do you how do you interpret that, Miss? Porque órganos de dirección. Porque la sala de reuniones de la de los órganos de dirección son they específicas. Are, yeah, but they are meeting rooms also. Okay. Only the people attending those meeting rooms are the you know the the chiefs. Yes. Okay. Or the managers, but it is a meeting room. Okay, uh -huh. meeting rooms, manager. Managers, meeting room. Manager, meeting room. Okay, in my company, we have um, five. A lot of branches. In... There are a lot of branches. Okay. In all the country, there are a lot of branches in in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hasta ahí. Hasta ahí. Dele donde yo. Okay. ¿Qué tiene usted en su en su trabajito? Oh, in my workplace, there are 
a small parking. Small parking. Mm -hmm. Space, space for space, space for uh, four vehicles. No more for cars. Okay. Um, there are three bathroom, two uh, meeting room. There are um, there is a small garden. There is a kitchen. There is two warehouse. There well. are two warehouses. There are two warehouses. Mm, is there is a, a small lobby. Um, there are four office offices. Um, there isn't a restroom. No tienen baños. There isn't a restroom. Restroom. Uh, <laughs> or bedroom. No. <laughs> La sala de descanso. Uh, restroom. Um, rest room. Rest room. <laughs> no, that, 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 that should be a, a, like a employee's room. Yeah. Okay. In another group, they were saying instead of saying bathrooms, uh, somebody was saying three uh, bedrooms, and we were like bedrooms. Wow! And I was thinking about the security. Yeah, that mm. because of their, uh, you know, their chips. And then, okay, continue, sir. Okay. Um. ¿qué más? Solo eso. Only eso. Only that. Okay. Okay. Compartanos, don, 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 ah, no, don José, este oyente, ni a Wendy. Dígame, ya estoy perdido. Ah, ay, si es que está tan bien con la... Bueno, ah, pues ya nos escuchó a nosotros. Este... Sí. Vamos a la, a la práctica, si quiere. Ya contamos okay, porque también yeah, tenemos... Perfect, conversation. Uh -huh. Déjenme ver si les comparto. Sí se deja. Ah, aquí está. Did you practice the conversation? Yes, ya, ya terminamos, pero estábamos corrigiendo la plataforma. Ah, ok, now listen class, did you switch roles? Yes. yes. Ah, ok, and let me see, there are, there is, ok, now there is and there are, is a piece of cake for you, ok. So did you, did you fix the problem with the, with the item? No. No, ok. No. So I'm going to... I don't to... know what it is. Maybe we try to delete point, delete S. Mm -hmm. A different thing that don't, don't... It doesn't work. Yes. It, it doesn't work, yes. Because there are three distribution centers in Lopan. In the answer is in the, in the, in the same page. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't let you know, let, let you see the answers. Yes, no. maybe. So the answer is according to the platform? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero cuál es la respuesta de acuerdo a la plataforma? No, este, I, no. Como no aparece abajo, está escrita. There are three distribu distribution, distribution centers. In el Opango. Ajá. Pero, pero cuando usted la da también es error. Okay. Sí, les pregunto por si me preguntan, mire, algo más, ¿verdad? Yes, because here Mr. Corbera has shared, and it is incorrect. There is, it should be there are three distribution mm -hmm. centers in Ilopango. Mm -hmm. Okay. Como que no han grabado la respuesta, quizás, porque aparece justo en la parte de abajo, este, escrita. Uh -huh. a, dif But, eh, a diferencia de las otras, ahí sí aparece la respuesta escrita. And it doesn't sin accept no... it. Ajá, uh -huh. y, incluso sin que nosotros le demos mostrar. 
Aparece. aparece. Uh -huh. Oh, so probably there's a mistake. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Okay. And, and now that you are over this, give me one more minute, okay? So I ask the other groups and then we'll return because you have to create another conversation. Okay. Okay. See you. See you. Let me see. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I go for a house. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are what company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the store the other day. Yeah. There are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Eso ahí, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Few. 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 Did you finish the practice? Yes, yes, teacher. Did you answer the questions? Yes, teacher. Did you complete the sentences? Yes. Mm. Las que están debajo de estas oraciones. Okay, do it, please. Okay, you have 30 seconds. Okay, okay bye. Okay. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. Vamos nosotros hoy a ti. Yes. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. To I also I work for Hauji. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, where I go me so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. few ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Few. Few. What company do you work for? I work for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That dream. I visit um, of the sturdy on the day. Other day. Other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching on in Santa Ana. There is day there it isn't on jet. Okay, Chen. Hoy usted, Tom. My name is Tom. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Hoggy. It branches. It branches. It branches. Eh, son las, las sucursales. Branches. Eh, branches. Ah, branches. Mm -hmm. Este es painting. Ah, painting. Porque como decimos, si lo leemos es painting, pero es painting. La, Ajá, painting. la T. No se pronuncia la T. Cabal, cabal. Painting. Aquí painting. está otra vez branches. Este, este lo decimos medio cortado. Es that's great. That's great. Y este, por favor, no se le voy a olvidar. Se dice Santa Ana, no Santana. <risa> <risa> 
Ya sabemos. Dígalo de, de nuevo, dígalo de nuevo. Ya sabemos de dónde right. estés. But you, but listen, El you barrio la say, Cruz. You may say Santa Ana or Santa Ana. No, Santa Ana, no lo es. No. Santana. De cualquier forma, no. menos Santa Ana. Va. No, because <laughs> there is a place in Los, in Los Angeles uh, that is called... Santa Ana, ah, and they say Santa ah, Ana. Santa Ana, like the, Santa like Ana. the guitarist. Santa, Santa Ana or Santa Ana. Santa Ana. <laughs> no, the that is what. Uh -huh. Santa Ana. Uh -huh. Santa Ana is the last name. Mm -hmm. But Santa Ana is the place. Or yes. Santa Ana. Santa Ana. In the, in the, uh -huh. in the movie films, they say Santa Ana for that place in, in the US. Okay, class, ready to get yes. back? Excellent. Yes. And you also answered the, the, the sentences, right? No. Uh, oh my God. Es que my God. Practicando. Yeah, that's it, that's the purpose. Excellent, so you have, uh, but it is a piece of cake for you. Do it and then we return, okay? Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Ready, class? Ready. With everything? Okay, yes. great. Congratulations on your practice, people. And now we are returning. Okay, so here we go. Let's get back. I'm going to ask you to activate your cameras and microphones because I'm going to take the second attendance. So I'm going to call your names, okay? As soon as the other people return. One, two. Okay, almost everybody's back. Okay, here we go. Atilio. Present. Thank you, Mr. Atilio. Brandon is absent. Claudia. Present. Maria. Thank you, Miss Claudia. Concepcion is absent. Mario Antonio. Present. Thank you, sir. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Miss for being here. Uh, Josué. Present. Mr. Garcia, thank you. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. There, always. Miguel. Present teacher. Mr. Corvera is here. Mariana Scarlett. Marina Jansi. Present. Mirna Lisset. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Miss Nelly. Lily Beth is here. Present. Mr. Nelson Orlando. Present, teacher. Present. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Thanks. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Wait. Wendy Maricela. 
Wendy was present, here. Teacher, oh, yeah. Present. Eh, Miss Carla Sofía. Present. Miss Celia Cristina. Present. Thank you so much for answering and for your attendance. Class. You have been practicing this conversation and right now you're going to provide the answers for this uh, exercise in the completion. There are three offices in San Salvador. Are or is? Are. Uh, are. There are. Okay, great. So we say there are. In number two, there is or there are one store in Soyapango. There is. Now, number three, there is or there are not any offices in this region yet? There are. There are. There are not offices in this region yet. Very well. Now, class, this is your work for this moment. In number six, Get in first, get in groups, and prepare a two-minute conversation about your companies. What are you going to say? You have to tell the company's location, office, or branches, and in what cities they are present. Use model conversation in exercise two as a reference. Then you are going to present it to the class. So here, for example, my name is Cristina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Norma. I work for, and you mentioned the real name of your company. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in, and you mentioned probably in San Salvador or in San Miguel, Morazan, La Unión, whatever. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches or there are many branches, whatever, okay? You are going to make it personal. Vamos a sustituir estos nombres for your real names. Y el nombre de la compañía que está acá por la compañía que ustedes tienen. Y lo que aparece acá, si tiene o no tiene sucursales, depende de la naturaleza de la compañía, ¿de acuerdo? Uh, there are 25 branches or there is only one branch or there are no branches, it depends, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's do it right now. Here we go. Get ready to go to the breakout rooms and begin with the practice. Make it personal. Lo van a llevar a su realidad. Join your group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Join your groups as soon as possible because time flies. Time flies. Stephanie Carranza, go to your group number one. Tony, if it is possible, join your group number four. Mariana Scarlett, you are a listener but you have been assigned to group number one. Okay, here we go. My name is Celia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I have to you say, no? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, um, Luis, I work for Claro. Oh, I know the company. There is an office in San Miguel, downtown. <clears throat> yes, we we are growing. Sí. Ah, Hello, my name is. Hello. 
Vale, podemos empezar presentando. Ah, Ay, Marina. Ay, Sandra. Uh -huh. eh, eh, mm, mm. Sí. Vamos escribiendo en el chat. La otra tiene seis. Yes. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces, vaya, si quiere nosotros comenzamos. Vaya. Carla y Nelly. Uh -huh. Okay, my name is Nice to meet you. Nelly, 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 Branches, branches. Country, branches in the country, yet there are few. What McCormick do you work for? Bueno, work what for. company do you work? ¿En qué compañía uh, what company do you work? Okay, I work for Claro El Salvador, the telecommunication company. There are a uh, 19... Okay. 19 branches in the country. In the, in the country. 1919. No, I. No, I don't make it. 90. 90. 90. 90. 95. 95 branches. 95 branches in the country. Branches. Branches. Branches in the country. In the, in the country. Mm -hmm. That's great. This is a one the one of the story in the other day. Yeah, there are. Well, no sé cuántas hay en San Salvador. No, diga las de Santa Ana. There Uno, are tres, cuatro, uh, cinco, seis, three siete. in Santa Ana. In Santa Ana downtown. In Santa Ana downtown. In Santa Ana downtown. We are a planning of lodging one in the Santa Ana. There are days and there is, is not one jet. Okay. okay. Voy a intentar con Don Darío. Como, como, como tienen bastantes sucursales, por eso me dejaron pachita, ya lo vi. <risa> usted Yo hubiera dicho a nivel una. nacional a nivel, a nivel internacional hubiera dicho usted <risa> es que no sé cuántas hay a nivel internacional ay Dios vio que casó con eso que no sabía dónde estaba si eres San Salvador no. ¿sí? <risa> ahí es la libertad <risa> es la libertad, ok este, intentemos don Darío vamos vale, comience usted My name is Darío. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Tony. I work for Claro, El Salvador. Y Sandra. Y ahí puede decir ahí, no, that company, como la. ¿Qué dicen? Debemos de ver dónde agregar el there is y there are. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, por eso, podría ser. Really? Um... I... 
my story that long, yeah. <clears throat> okay, listen class here. Nice to meet you too. Um, Marina, I work in Brico and Claudia is my co-worker. Here oh. instead of D, you write R. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. I don't know that company. Mm. Um. There is y luego Pablo podría preguntar Ahí vamos a poner, um, pero, pero como, es que lo que pasa es que como hay que incluir a, a, a las otras dos muchachas. <ríe> eh, ah, pero ahí puede decir. Eh, a ver. Pinche de Parmen lo voy a poner. Mm. Yeah, the store the other day. <laughs> okay. Eso si no se cambia. <laughs> sí, de, no sé, solo le ponemos el, el that's great. I, 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 Ya nos pasamos a hablar de comida. Comida, <laughs> sí. Ok, finish the practice class. Yes. Ok, here we go. Let's return to the main station room then. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Class, I need a pair of volunteers to practice the conversation before we leave. Volunteers. If you don't volunteer, I'm going to volunteer you. Okay. Volunteers to practice the conversation. If you don't volunteer in 10 seconds, I'm going to volunteer you because it is almost time to say goodbye, okay? And you need to practice. This is the wrapping up of the class. Okay, to volunteers or do you want me to volunteer you? Tell you what you think. Okay, here we are. Celia. No, no, nos vamos a dormir. <laughs> <laughs> Luis, comparta, no problem. <laughs> Ahorita. Ay, disculpen que estoy desde el teléfono. Ok. Se ve. My, my name ah. is Celia. Nice to meet you. Ah, ah perdón, no cambié. Nice to meet you too. Uh -huh. I'm Luis. I work for Claro. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador, downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are many branches in the country. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Idearque, the design company. There is 
one branch office in the country. That's great. I visit the office the other day. Yeah, there is in San Miguel. We are planning to launch in 60, 60 branches in Paraguay these days. There is not yet one yet. Yes, we still. Yes, we still. Okay, thank you so much. You know that Claro is an international company, right? We but are the best 50, company in the world. Okay. I apologize for saying international. <laughs> and I didn't say uh, the best company around the world. Yeah, okay, but, but it is, yeah. Uh, but it is interesting that in Uruguay, 50 branches at once. Excellent. Yeah, Very yeah. well done. Okay. Excellent. Miss Carla Sofia, I need you to stay with me, please, after class, okay? Today. Ah, hoy me quedo. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, class, listen. Claps, 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 and a hooray for you for your practice today. Congrats. And I'm going to share with the administration your problems with the homework for tonight, okay? For uh, section two, homework one or homework six. There is a situation over there. Thank you, sleep well, have a good night, enjoy your relaxing time, sweet dreams, and see you tomorrow. Be careful and God bless you, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, bye-bye, bye. 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 have a good night. Bye, bye. take bye. care, have a good bye. night. Bye. Happy sleep, happy sleep, bye-bye, take bye. care. Bye, happy sleep, happy sleep, take care. Okay, Miss Carla is going to stay with me. Bye bye, Concepcion. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, Miss, tell me, do you have any problem with the structure that we practice today? Algún problema con la estructura there is or are? Que trabajamos hoy? No. <laughs> ok, neither affirmative nor negative. Ni afirmativo ni negativo, todo bien. Y con las preguntas, clarito, ok. Y yeah. con should, que trabajamos ayer, should, shouldn't. Mm. Quizás si tuve con el what, fíjese. El... Ah, vamos a hacer un repasito <laughs> sí, con unas what clauses, sí. Ajá. Es lo que sucede, y a varios les comentaba que como que estuviéramos casados con la palabra what solo para pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y ese pues no es el caso. Entonces nos vamos acá y retornamos. We we'll return to what clauses. Fíjese que lo utilizamos igual que en español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. lo que le estoy diciendo es que lo utilizamos igual en español esa frase, lo que le estoy diciendo okay. es what what, uh -huh. I am, what I'm telling you is that we use it the same as in Spanish entonces eso como que a mucha gente no, no mucho ¿verdad? porque estamos con la mente que what solo para preguntas what, uh -huh. what do you uh -huh. say what do you need, what do you mean pero no, mire el uso es solo es de asociarlo a nuestro idioma eh, usualmente what es el sujeto de la oración eh, con el verbo to be, el cual puedes eh, seguirlo una palabra o frase, ¿ok? What you need is, ¿ok? What you probably uh, hear, let's complete. What you need is, y aquí es donde llevamos el verbo to be, what you need is to, um, to save your money. Lo que tú necesitas es guardar tu dinero, ahorrar tu dinero, ¿ya? What my friend did, como es en tiempo pasado, el verbo to be tiene que estar en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, Para sí. que haya coherencia. Lo que mi amigo hizo fue was um, amazing. Fue sorprendente. ¿Verdad? En what I would do, lo que yo haría, let's imagine, in a hypothetical case, ¿ok? Imagine that you win the lottery. 
What would you do if you win the lottery? What I would do, si se gana la lotería, ¿qué haría? Si yo me gano la lotería, what I would do if I win the lottery is? Buy a house. To buy a house is to buy, buy a house. Ok, muy bien. Y acá ya la tiene completa. Mire, what I would do is to buy a house. Lo que yo haría es comprar una casa. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, lo que yo estoy diciendo es, uh -huh. what I'm saying is, I don't share your idea, but I respect it. ¿Ya? Yeah? Lo que estoy diciendo es que no comparto tu idea, pero la respeto, la respeto, ¿sí? Entonces, para I respect it. ¿Ya? Yeah? I don't share your idea, but I respect it, ¿sí? sí. Entonces, esta, esta, esta frasecita acá, esta palabra what, la utilizamos como sujeto de la oración. What you need is to save your money. Uh -huh. Usualmente es conocido como sujeto de oración, no es como pregunta. pregunta. Okay. Ahora dígame usted una frase que inicie con what, una cláusula que inicie con what que no sea pregunta. Acá tiene what you need is, what my friend is, what I would do is, what I'm saying. Ok. Podría ser what you need is drink. What you need is to drink is to drink water water mm -hmm. if you say um if somebody tells you i'm thirsty and then you say what you need is to drink water see ¿Sí? lo que necesitas es tomar agua okay another one if i say i'm too fat estoy muy gorda y usted me dice what you for yeah. example Or what you have to do, have to do, is, is, is to go on a diet. Yeah? Okay. Es ponerse a dieta. Or what you need to do is to go to the gym. Yeah? Or what you have to do is to exercise, for example. Yeah? Or to stop eating junk food. Yeah? <laughs> oh, it's so difficult. That situation, not the topic. Mm -hmm. Okay, muy bien. Eh, trate de formularme otra cláusula utilizando what? For example, what I? What I? Algo que sea relacionado a su persona. What I? <laughs> what I? <laughs> what I need is to go to sleep. More <laughs> what I? Uh -huh. What I need is to study more English, yeah? Is to study more English. Is that okay? okay. Muy bien. Y acá veamos. No, over here. Acá, mire. Ah, no, pero esto es about quality manufacturing, ¿verdad? Pero tenemos what my friend did was to get fresh honey. Y acá la tenemos ya en contexto, mire. Y la otra, what I'm saying is that. What I'm saying is, ¿por qué llevamos is en presente? Porque am es presente, ¿verdad? Y acá lo que le decía did, no se escribe eh, en presente la siguiente palabra, que sería el verbo to be, porque como did nos indica que la oración está en pasado. Para que haya coherencia, el verbo tiene que ir en pasado, el verbo tú también. Y acá es el condicional. What I would do is, lo que yo haría es, uh -huh, have quality in a product. ¿Ya? Y es, pero en este caso, what does Kirk's friend do to have better honey quality? Acá, what está usado como pregunta. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces acá lo tenemos como cláusula y acá está como pregunta. Muy bien. Y las dos van al inicio, mire. Pero acá lleva punto y no lleva interrogación porque no es pregunta. Sin embargo, aquí sí debe llevar signo de interrogación porque es una pregunta. ¿De acuerdo? 
Muy bien. Vaya, ¿ya comprendimos un poquito más? Sí, sí. Ok, very well. Creo que depende del contexto, ¿verdad? Correctísimo. Pero eh, si se fija, lo usamos así como lo usamos en español, ¿verdad? What I'm telling you is this. Lo que te estoy diciendo es esto. Pay attention to me, le dice su mamá. Yes. <laughs> ok. Wake up. And um, another, uh, what else? Ah, the imperatives, no problem, right? Con los imperativos no hay problema, ¿verdad? No, no. Ok. Here, what type of company? And here, let's see. Vamos a practicar antes de irnos a dormir, before we go to bed. The conversation we had today. Ok, here. Uh, I'm Tom. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for each O D H E. Coach. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's okay. You tell me that's great. Yo soy de Rep. That's uh -huh. great. I visit visit uh -huh. one of the stores the other day. One of the stores. One, not only. One of the stores. One on the store. Ah, one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. And that's it. Y entonces para there is and there are, no problem, yeah? No. Okay. Sí, sí <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much for giving me your time. And Thank sleep you. well. Have a good night. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. See you. Thank you. Likewise. Bye. Bye.